God bless you. Welcome today as we've come to celebrate the life of Evangelist Duranis Pace, my sister. We are so excited to have you with us today and many of you from around the world, we know that you've been asking and waiting to see and to hear as we celebrate this life of this great woman of God. And today we've come to allow you to be a part of this great celebration. You know, there was a saying once by the late Bishop M.J. Pace, her brother. He said that the mic loves Nisi. And I want you to know that I have not seen one mic that she picked up that did not love her voice. She could sing anything at any time. And matter of fact, she went beyond the mic. She would sing in restaurants. She would sing as she went into the stores. People would just wait to hear her sing. And we're so grateful for what God did through her life. So today we invite you to celebrate with us and to celebrate her life. On behalf of my family, the Anointed Pace Sisters, and certainly her son, Demarcus Love, that did such a tremendous job in taking care of his mother. Oh my God. We want to thank DeMarcus. We want to thank him. We want to show him some love today as we've come to celebrate her life. And so I want you to come on in and join us today as we celebrate the life and legacy of my sister, Evangelist Duranis Pace. Holy Ghost power, I 
God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. God, we just want to thank you for being great. We want to thank you for being awesome. Thank you for your loving kindness. God, thank you for being our helper. Thank you for being our comforter. Thank you for being our creator. All things good and perfect comes from you. God, before we ask you for anything, God, we just want to let you know that we appreciate you, that we don't take you for granted. We thank you for your love that is everlasting. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, God, for your grace and your protection, your mercy. Even when we are so undeserving, you still love us. You still keep us. When we don't want to keep ourselves, you love us. When we don't want to love ourselves. God, we understand and we recognize that our success is in you. That our strength is in you. It's in you we live, breathe, move, and have our being. So God, anything and everything we ever desire, we ever dreamed of. God, it's in you. So God, we come to you and we thank you. We thank you for being our supplier. We thank you, God, for being our deliverer. God, we need you to come into our lives, step into our situations, work everything out, God. God, we your people, we are serving you, God, with broken hearts, with messed up minds. God, undo the heavy burden. God, break and destroy every yoke. Do what only you can do, oh God, and we'll give you the glory. God, we expecting you to meet our needs and to exceed our expectations because we know that you're able to do exceedingly above all that we're able to ask or think. And God, we trust you and we ask God that you help us to develop a better relationship within you so the power that you have will dwell within us and it will work out of us, therefore manifesting the words of our lives. God, we thank you, Jesus. We give you the glory. We call you Jesus, the lover of our soul, God. You be glorified in our lives like only you can. And we'll give you the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hi, my name is Willan Ziada, and I'm a New York City-based director and creator for the theater and television. I met Duranis Pace 10 months ago. I was on YouTube, YouTube spiraling, trying to find some music and stories to inspire me, entertain me, because it was just at the beginning of the pandemic. I came across Denise's clip of her on Steve Harvey. She sang Corinthian song, and then I saw the interview with Steve when she said, I'm going to Broadway. I got a chill all over. And it's only when I get a chill, it's usually my gut and instincts are very strong. There was a story behind that beautiful, authentic, unapologetic, pure soul. I wanted to learn some more information. So that night I ordered her autobiography on Kindle, read it in one sitting, the next morning, I looked at the back of the memoir and I realized on the last page, there was an email. So I just said, go for it, Will. I emailed her. I got an email back in like 15 minutes and I was told that Duranis wanted to speak with me over FaceTime. That first meeting turned into 40 weeks 
of a beautiful friendship, collaboration, and a healing experience. In 40 weeks, Duranis and I co-wrote and I was set to direct and she was to star in a theatrical concert event of her life. We had producers interested, we had a streaming site interested, and I have to say that this is not the end of that Broadway show. You know, on our first conversation, Nisi called me Willis. I didn't correct her, why would I? I love the way that she said it, Willis. She was Nisi. Nisi, Willis is not giving up on your dream to get to Broadway, I promise you. We're gonna get there. Because as you always said to me, Willis, it's already done, done. It's already done. It's already done, done. Nisi, Willis loves you. Now and always. Hallelujah. How many of you choose life? Hallelujah. Come on, let's do it, guys. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands with us like this right here. Come on. Hallelujah. Listen, Psalm says, Proverbs 18, 21. The power is in your tongue. Say goodbye to death. Say hello to life. Be careful of what you say. Cause it will surely come your way I choose life Proverbs yeah. right. 18 and 21 yeah. The power is in your tongue Say goodbye to death And help your life Be careful of what you say Cause it will surely come your way I choose life Come on, everybody shout, say, I shall live. Come on, say, I am healed. Come on, if you believe it, I need you, somebody to say, things are going to get better. Come on, say it again. I shall live. Say things are gonna get things better. Are gonna get better. Hallelujah.
gonna get better. Clap your hands and give God praise. Come on, open your mouths and give Him praise. Listen, when Duranis used to come to Charleston, South Carolina, she would say something like, It did not injure me at all. It did not injure me. Hey everybody, Melvin Williams here. I just want to give a few encouraging words and say a few encouraging words to the Pace sisters and the Pace family about my girl, Duranis Pace. Y'all know that was my singing partner. Original, 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 authentic. The girl was just bad. She was bad. And she could sing and sing anywhere. She had that beautiful personality, beautiful beautiful smile. She never changed, never changed. Uh, you catch her on a, any given day. She might sing in a restaurant, in a grocery store, at the bus stop, at the train station, you name it, right in the middle of a tape recording of a TV show. She might bail out and hit amazing grace, y'all. So y'all know what I'm talking about. We're going to miss my girl, but y'all got it. Y'all can handle it because y'all or y'all can sing. Y'all not singers. Y'all can sing. So I just want to encourage y'all to keep going on. Stay prayed up. My prayers and condolences are with the entire family. And from myself and the Williams brothers, y'all be blessed, be strong, hang, hang in there, and God forever bless you. And if you need me, I'm just a phone call away. God bless. While 60 seconds is simply not enough time to express the sentiments of my heart for my dear sister, my best friend, Duranus, I will try to adhere. So what's in the name? Duranus. The D is for determined to do God's will. U is for undeniably unique. Why? Because no one else could do what Duranus did. R is for radiant because she allowed the light of God to always shine through her. A, you knew this was coming, anointed. She is an anointed Pace sister. N is for neighborly and friendly because she never met a stranger. It's also for her nickname, Nisi. I is for intriguing because to know her is to love her. C is for captivating because of her God-given ability to grasp your attention while pointing you towards the light of God and in the direction of God. E is for the endeavoring example setter that she was. We will miss you, Duranus. It has been an honor knowing you these past 30 plus years, traveling this world with you in this country and foreign lands. We will meet again. Your dear brother, Elder John Smalls. Hey, this is Kiki Wyatt, and I just wanna say thank you so much to Duranus Pace for all that you've done your wonderful gift. Honey, that voice was amazing. God is a blessing through you. And to the family, I pray that the Lord gives you all peace and comfort and love and joy and happiness through this time. And um, God bless you. At this time, we're getting ready to receive the wonderful ministry of Miss Leandria Johnson. Can we celebrate her at this time?
They used to sing back in the day, they say this, they say, I'll say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes through it all, Lord, yes, I will trust you.
something to say, Lord, won't do it, Lord, do it. I don't know how much time I have, but I came here for the family to say, he will do it, Lord, for me.
promise you little better days I promise you more this better day After this Better day I'm coming If I could just get three people to, to touch and agree with me and believe it Forsake you, I will be there with you always. Better days, y'all. Better days, y'all. Better days are coming. Listen, it's only a season. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. For you're going through. All we got to do is stay focused and never lose sight. Hmm. I know people, 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 people. They don't see the hurt you feel inside. But you, 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 you got to keep on smiling. Everything will be all right. Better days. Brother Marcus Evangelist Pace's one and only son in whom she was well pleased. To the Love family and the entire Pace family, this is a bittersweet moment for me. Bitter because Evangelist Duranis Pace will truly be missed. We will miss her anointed singing, her dynamic preaching, but sweet to know that she's in the presence of the Lord. Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians 5 and 8, We are confident, I say, and willing, rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Evangelist Pace exuded holiness wherever she went. She was loving, lovely, and kind. She was loved by the masses. She had a charge to keep and a God to glorify. She fulfilled her calling. If we look at life on this side, the forecast seems gloomy. On the other side, there's not a cloudy day. No more pain, no more sickness, no more sadness or sorrow. On the other side, no pandemic. No mess. Paul said again in 1 Corinthians 15 and 19, If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. She lived her life to live again. So I praise our God for the life and legacy of evangelist Doranis Pace, known around the world, often imitated, never duplicated. So family, weeping may, will endure for a night, but get ready, get ready, get ready, for joy comes in the morning. Hey, this is Faith Evans, and I want to send my sincerest condolences and prayers to the Pace family. My partner, Corey Taylor, and I we're looking forward to working on a project with the Pace family before COVID hit. And I know for a fact I was looking forward to many times seeing Duranis walk through that door singing the song. And I just want to send you guys just some words of comfort in your loss. Um, 
it's never easy. I've, I've been through losing a loved one and, um, you know, she's obviously in a better place. You guys know God and we know that he makes no mistakes. I just want to say that if there's anything we can do that I can do, um, you know, please feel free to reach out. I love you. I've been a long time fan and I still look forward to doing something with the family. I'm actually, actually in the process of trying to license one of your records to re-record for um, my special needs foundation. But um, many prayers to you and um, God bless you in this, in this heavy hearted time. I, I know it's difficult, but um, just know that there are people out there who love you and adore you guys. And um, like I said, please let me know if there's anything I could do. Love you. Hello, family. Hey, family. We're so sorry that we can't be with you, of course. We're sorry for the loss. We love y'all. We're going to miss our sister. For sure. Because I can, I just hear her singing it. I'll always be. If you sing it one more time. Look, we'll always be family. Yes. She could make a song out of anything. Yes. She just drive up to the drive through. I have a three piece of chicken. She could make a song out. Who goes on Steve Harvey and makes a song out of the interview? <laughs> Our sister. We love it. We're going to miss her. We love y'all. We're praying y'all strength and be blessed. We love you. <laughs> y'all, we hate we couldn't be there. We love y'all. love you. God bless. Bless you. Hello, I'm Bishop Paul S. Morton. You know I could not let this time go by without thanking God for Duran's pace. Special young lady. I remember her and her sisters coming. Oh, when they were very, very young, coming to Greater St. Stephen, singing for us in the early days of their singing. And she has been a blessing. So I just wanted to tell this family, you know I love you. Keep holding on. God will see you through. We will see her again. Greetings to everyone. My name is Corey Taylor. I am a talent manager and a content producer. Miss Duran's Pace was definitely anointed, appointed, and hired by God to be a gospel cheerleader. She just encouraged so many people, including myself. I met her years ago through Latrice Pace, myself and my partner, Faith Evans. We were developing a show around the Pace family and I got a chance to talk to her one-on-one -on -one, and I can say she was such a joy to talk to and to work with. During that time, I remember um, her calling me. I had suffered a mild stroke and she said, may I speak to Mr. Corey? I said, this is he. And immediately she began to pray then after praying, she began to prophesy to me. After prophesying, she began to sing to me in a matter of minutes. Now, what she didn't know was I was driving. And the next thing I knew, I was just crying. I was saying, yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Had my hands up in the air, you know, and I didn't know all of that was about to take place. But when you got somebody who was anointed like that, and I needed that. I was such in a low place at that time of my life. And I thank God for her. To the Pace family, I love you. I love you. If I can do anything, please let me know. She was a gospel jewel and one of the best singers to ever grace the mic. My prayers are continually with you all. God bless. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your presence. Thank you for your presence, God. Thank you for strength. Thank you for peace. That's 
why I'm saying That's why I'm saying That's why I'm
We magnify you. You will never ever win. We magnify you. Hi, I'm Pastor Chad Lawson Cooper. And I'm Alicia Robinson Cooper. And we're the owners of the Chad Cooper Company on Broadway. And we are so very saddened to hear of the loss of our dear sister and friend, Evangelist Duranis Pace. Yes. Our relationship spans for over two decades. Alicia and I both went to FAMU and straight out of FAMU, I started pastoring and uh, Alicia shortly joined me and then Evangelist Pace came along, I believe that same year and preached a revival for us. And when she came to town, everybody wanted to know who was this woman? <laughs> that just came true. up into That's Tallahassee because so Tallahassee has a lot of great singers and musicians as mm. well and just tore the city up and uh we just from that day that that time uh we bonded and we became family, family. I, I think that uh, Evangelist Pace was a very pontiferous loquacious person um an erudite of the gospel yes. and of ministry but most of all, what stands out is her contagious personality and ability to love unconditionally. Her smile uh, was one of the things that I love to see her do. And personally, I know my family, we cannot believe that she is gone. It, it, it just does not seem real to us. Um, the, the funny moments, she was very much a comedian as well. Uh, one of her signature lines when she would come preach for us years ago would be, Papa Page told me not to preach tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm going I'm going, I'm going to teach tonight. Huh? And uh, She would preach anyway. And tear the house up. Yeah. And then over the years, um, we uh, started touring with uh, national productions, national plays. And we had the fortuitous pleasure of having her star in one of our plays, Family Mess, as the mother. And she set the standard. Yes, she did. And everybody loved her. I mean, the crowds would just go crazy. Um, I mean, she was just, there, there, there'll never be another evangelist. Nobody like her. Duranis Pace. Nobody like And uh, her. I like to say uh, to the family, to Marcus, we'll always be grateful and we'll always be thankful for evangelist Duranis Pace. We love you. And um, I just want to say I'm going to miss your red velvet cake. I just wish I would have gotten that recipe. My daughter, when we first found out about your loss, she was like, oh, gosh, we're not going to have that red velvet cake anymore. My children loved you. Um, they just really looked up to you. You were our sister. You know, I called you sis. And um, I can remember I would tease you backstage. I say, sis, you know, I can tell when that anointing get ready to get on you. You go to shaking and doing like this. When you go to doing like that, moving around, honey, it's over. Church is over. Um, that anointing over your life was just such a blessing to so many people. You blessed me when I went through depression from um, going through infertility. And you just spoke into my life so many times and encouraged me. And um, to the Pace family, thank you for sharing your sister with us. I mean, she has been a blessing to so many people, and um, we're going to miss her. And we're committed to keeping your name out there, sis. Even though we don't tour with plays anymore, we produce movies. movies yeah. I will always mention you as much as possible when we're filming. And, and if I can get Duranis Pace name mentioned, uh, we're going to do we're that gonna because do we it. love you. We you have a legacy. You. Yes. May you live forever your legacy. Love you, sis. I want to tell the world about my friend Duran's Pace. My life was definitely changed on, upon meeting her. I met her in Rochester, New York, when I lived and worked at Strong Memorial Hospital. And Mother Pace, her mom, came to Rochester to see about her in the hospital. And I became friends also with Mother Pace. And as upon moving to Atlanta, years after that, Duran and I grew stronger in the Lord as friends. And I thank God for the friendship. She was a sanctified, virtuous woman. And I thank God for her. My life will always, always feel an impact from her life being in my life. 
And I thank God she became the godmother of my little guy, Antavius, and she mentored him. And his life grew in the, from the form of her being in his life. So I'm going to miss her. I love her. I will see her in the resurrection at the end.
Yes. This particular song, I had just gotten into the Pace Sisters group, and Nisi knew I was insecure about singing with the sisters. So we signed the record label, record label, record contract with Faith Records. And she said, Nene, this song for you. I was like, I'm getting ready to have a lead with the Pace Sisters. All right then. Pace Sisters number two, y'all ready? Every day, every day.
For several years, I got to serve Dr. Duranis Pace Ministries from project manager to manager to creative director. I even wrote her some songs. And I can truly say from working with Duranis, I got to, I got to see how God really loved and favored me because he entrusted me with his finest creation. The beauty of what I got to hold, it was bright, it was rare, it was unmatched. I think a lot of people got to hear the voice, but I got to feel the heart. The heart that wanted to saturate God's love wherever she went. Um, I think that we all got to experience the modern day Mahalia Jackson. Hey everyone, this is Doug Williams. And I just want to say to the Pace family that you have our sincere condolences. We love you guys. We're praying for you. Keep your heads up. God is still in control. Please know that. And I just want to say about my dear friend, uh, Pastor Duranis Pace. She was one of the most anointed, talented, unique voices of our time. There will never be another like her. This woman loved to sing. She would come in the door singing and she could sing, y'all. She could only just sing, she could sing. Duranis Pace is gonna be missed. We love her so much. We really appreciate the gift that she's left with us. And even though she's not with us anymore um, physically, but spiritually, she's still here. And her voice will always be heard and appreciated. We love you guys. Hang in there. God has still got your back. Bless you.
for me
as long as you're in control. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. God knows it will. How? As long as long you're in control. I know things will work out for me. Yes, it will. Like to be like 
Hi, this is Beverly Crawford, and I want to send my condolences to the Pace family. Duranis Pace was my dear friend and my dear sister. I love her and I will miss her so. There will never be another Duranis Pace. Oh, my girl, my friend, rest in peace. God bless. Duranis Pace. What can I say? A friend that's closer than a sister and a brother. Her father was my friend. And her mother called herself my other mother. She was a great singer, a great composer and songwriter. She was a great preacher. And more than that, she was a great prophet, prophetess, the Rannis Pace. I really enjoyed her company and I enjoyed her prophesying. As a matter of fact, she spoke to me and said that I won't be bishop. And when it didn't work out that right, the thing that really got me was she said, I, 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 don't, I don't understand because I know what God said to me. And the thing is, not that it didn't happen, but it was, it didn't happen yet because it happened just like she said it. I am really gonna miss her. I've known her since she was less than 10 years old. For years, years, and years. I've known the family. I've known the Rennes. And again, I'm really gonna miss her. God bless the family. And God bless the life and times of the Rennes space. God bless you. To the family of Duranis Pace, Ms. Duranis Pace, I'm Bobby Jones. I want to offer my condolences to the family and let you know how important Duranis was for me. She traveled the world with me in Italy, in Spain, and then we had an opportunity to have her on our show, which was called Bobby Jones Gospel on BET, and praises came to her. I loved her and the whole choir did as well. So God's blessings to all of you, and I'm Bobby Jones. I'm Pastor Yavis T. McKenzie. What do I say about Duranis and Pace in 60 seconds? Thank you, sis, for allowing me to drive you for ministry. Thank you for allowing me to be your booking manager for a period of time. Most of all, thank you for your friendship. You were a genuine friend because that's all you've ever asked for in return. Hey, I wore my red because that's our favorite color. I'm going to miss the conversations that we've had about ministry, about life. Most of all, about your heartbeat, DeMarcus. I'm going to miss your telephone calls, leaving me singing voicemail messages. Sometimes I wouldn't even answer the phone so that I could have you to leave me a message. I'm going to miss you. You are a true friend. Thank you, Pace family, for sharing Nisi with so many of us. Again, I'm going to miss you, Nisi. Miss you, Duranis. Love you with my heart. God bless. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap. Mr. Randy's love you. Y'all make some noise to me. Y'all too quiet. Come on. Pat the head. Let's go. Sing it real good. Give it up. Let everything.
Try to make the family feel good. Come on. Anything about Pastor Durant's face, look at your neighbor, tell him she loved to have church. Huh? Y'all didn't say it like you really mean it. Tell somebody say she loved to have church. So we're gonna go and get this old song, and I want y'all to sing it with us again if you don't mind. Touch your neighbor, say I don't mind. Come on, Daniel, let's go and get it. Let's go. Take me to church. Would you receive Pastor Tawana Jackson as she comes at this time?
know y'all just got back there, but can y'all run back up here, just a few of y'all? Run back up here real quick, real quick, real quick. I need you to run up here real quick. I'm gonna be obedient to what the family has asked. I need y'all to run up here real quick, real quick, real quick. Mama Phyllis, Lily asked for this. Leslie, she asked for it. And I'm just gonna do just a little bit of it. Is that all right? Listen, how I'm calling? I need y'all to act like we're in rehearsal. I can't hear you. I need you to act like we're in rehearsal. I need you to take the brakes off, take everything and put it on the floor. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Listen, I need everybody for two seconds and two seconds only. We're moving. Everybody, tap your hands, tap. The song just simply said, Open your mouth and shout it out, Lord. Open your mouth and shout it out, Lord. Open your mouth and shout it out, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes, I'll serve you every day. to honor the beautiful life, the great life of my Aunt Duranis Pace. She was a love to everyone. She had compassion. She had love. She did nice things for you. She was everything. I, when I heard the news, it was heartbreaking. But we must be thankful that she's with someone grateful, someone better, and someone that can do anything she needs. She's living somewhere in gold. She has everything she needs. She, has, she doesn't have to worry about pain. She doesn't have to worry about anything in her body being wrong. She has everything she needs with the Lord Jesus and his Savior. And, need, and needs, she doesn't need them because she already has them. Yeah, yeah. God's getting ready to bless. God's getting ready to bless you. God's getting ready to bless. Yeah. 
when she was here, you know she'll do it again. Oh! I say, I tell you, it has been a tremendous celebration today as we've celebrated the life of Evangelist Grandis Pace, our sister. Come on, y'all, let's show some love for everyone that participated, every artist, everyone that sung today. What glory and what anointing that we felt today. We are certainly excited. We want you to know that we love and appreciate each and every one of you that have joined us, and I, we just thank you for your prayers, your texts, your love, everything that you sent our way. We thank you for being a part. And today, before we go, you know one thing that I know that she would not want us to do, and that is to close without giving somebody that's watching us an opportunity to be saved. And if you're not saved, if you don't know Jesus as Lord and Savior, I want you right where you are. Stop whatever you're doing, and in the spirit of my sister, I want to invite you to Jesus and invite you to accept Jesus into your life. Wherever you are, just bow your heads and repeat these words after me and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you right now. Others my age are already dead and gone, but I thank you that you've given me another chance. And I ask you right now to forgive me of all my sins. Wash me in your blood. Let the blood of Jesus be applied to my life right now. Save me, Lord. I'm sorry. Deliver me. Deliver my soul. Deliver my mind. And right now, I receive you as Lord and Savior right now. Now, as we go, I want you to just lift your hands. And my God, what a great honor. What a great thing to leave on this time of celebration, knowing that somebody accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior today. Come on, let's thank God for those that have accepted the Lord. We love each and every one of you. Keep praying for us on behalf again of my family, the anointed Pace sisters, the Pace family, Demarcus Love and Jessica. We want to say we love you, we appreciate you, and God bless you. And our best days are ahead of us and not behind.